Hi everyone, and in this episode, we're gonna talk again about finasteride, but specifically customized dosing of finasteride. Welcome to The Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram J. Aprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Hair Loss Show. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to, to like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Now, one of the videos that we've done in the past has been on customized dosing of finasteride. But I wanted to go uh, back over a few concepts again, but sort of specifically discuss in a little bit more detail why it is such an imperfect science. All right, so uh, let's talk about finasteride real quick, and we've gone through this multiple times, but essentially, if we look at uh, male pattern hair loss or androgenic alopecia, uh, there's a genetic cause, but you've got a hormone testosterone that gets converted into another form of that hormone, dihydrotestosterone by the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. And essentially what finasteride does is it blocks that enzyme. If you block that enzyme, you block the conversion of that to that and therefore lower that in the system, all right? But the key here is what we want to do is we want to lower it uh, by a to a specific threshold. We don't want to get the DHT down to zero. Okay, because that does no one any good. And in fact, that's what causes a lot of the problems or the side effects associated with DHT. So DHT does a lot of good things, but it can, above a certain threshold, cause uh, miniaturization of the hair. So when we're looking at this mechanism, what we're trying to do with the finasteride is give the minimum amount that we can to get it below a certain threshold, and in doing so, stop that process of miniaturization. Remember, hair loss is a progressive condition so it just gets worse with each passing year. So what we're trying to do is just lower it uh, to a certain threshold. What is that threshold? No one knows, all right? It's different for you, it's different for me, it's different for the next person. And that is part of the artistry associated with the, you know, with the science of medication in, uh, in hair loss, is deciding what is the right dose for you. It's not a cookie cutter approach, it's not one milligram a day, it's not three milligrams a week. Uh, it's, you know, there, it varies from person to person. And it's about finding what that lowest dose is for you. All right. So if we look at the pharmacology or how the medication works, finasteride we're talking about, how it works, how it's metabolized, generally what we found through experience is that you don't need to take it on a daily basis. Okay, that's probably a little bit too much and it drops the DHT down a little bit too much. And then you're more likely, not always, you're more likely to cause, uh, to result in side effects in individuals. So uh, as part of, uh, you know, my practice, what I do is I generally start uh, a milligram three times a week. All right, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right, so it's, it's quite easy. Now is that does that work for everyone? No, it works for most people, works for a lot of people. I found that that is probably the sweet spot. But from there, we will then decide on how, you know, how do we progress from there? And what, what is the dose that we need to be on long term? And so what we will do is we'll start people on the medication, review them. And it takes about six months to see, you know, see what steady state is. At six months, if they say, look, I've been on this uh, particular regime and I've had no side effects and my hair loss is stabilized, well, there you go. That's your dose, carry on, nothing to change. But if you've got someone who's got continued hair loss on that particular regime, well then you know that you haven't reduced this by enough, all right? So we need additional blockade of, of that. And that may be through either adding more finasteride, all right? so increasing the dose either on a daily basis or, or on that particular day or increasing the frequency over the course of a week, um, or adding a second agent in, and that's a different discussion, all right? Or, or the other option is that you get uh, someone who's uh, stabilized but is also getting side effects then you know well actually I've dropped that down uh, too much and so in that individual you need to peg back on the dose and see where um, where the symptoms lie how the progression of hair loss is continuing so, and, and really that 
that particular, that difference between each and every individual person, what makes each and every individual person different. And it's all down to the genetics of the individual. And it's not something that we can measure, not something that we can uh, predict. So uh, basically the, the, the key there is that yes, you can customize the dosing. It's, uh, it's not a cookie cutter approach and it needs to be assessed by someone who knows what they're, what they're looking for and be able to guide you through uh, that process. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.